Jake may be one of the hardest working players at practice. And you want guys that practice hard because guys that practice hard get better. And when everybody starts to do that, your team gets better. You know, as he worked each day, he got better every week. I mean, over the course of the season, he did that. And by the end of the year, he's ripping off touchdown runs against some pretty good defenses. Next one, uh, this is something that's dear to my heart because we, we caught the leather helmet, did that years ago, and it's kind of a throwback. I want football players who just want to play football, just want to play ball. I'm a fan of, I want to be a Lambert football player, regardless. You know, hey, just go out there, enjoy your time with your friends. Don't get caught up in, in things that don't matter. Show up and compete and play hard every single day. There's a couple on the play. And it looks like it was recovered by number 29, Jake Rising. game that we had was like the Gainesville game where like we were down going into the half and then we came back and ended up winning the game and it was probably just one of like my greatest memories this year just because we fought so hard to win that game and probably never forget it.
Lynch's pass is complete. For 54 yards to number 29, Jake Rising. And he's good for a Lambert touchdown. And uh, our leather helmet this year, and I'll just go ahead and say his name so we can kind of move on. There's more I want to say about him, but Jake Rising, come on up here. <laughs> Jake is one of the few that I, I'm not going to ask him because I don't want an answer. You know, he may be, he may be truthful with me, but you wouldn't know if Jake liked offense defense better. And we don't, we don't have players like that a lot of times. I want everybody to be that guy, but let's be honest, some people have a preference. I'm not going to ask Jake because I don't want the answer. But he worked as hard on offense as he did defense, and it was selfless, and I mean, and, and it didn't matter. Hey, Jake, you're good to go. Yeah, I'm good, coach. And you direct, no, coach, I'm fine. I'm good. Whatever. Hey, just let me play ball. You know, whatever you need me to do, I'll do, and, and enjoy it. And, uh, and Jake, I, I, seeing you change and grow into the young man you are, it's, it's an honor, and I, I won't forget the, uh, you know, our boys together. I really enjoy it. I got the honor to uh, talk about Jake tonight, and uh, you know, for me, being new to Lambert, um, I only had the privilege of coaching him for one year. But in that one season, you know, what I saw, or what I gained from it was, not only did I see you grow as an athlete and a player, but I watched him grow off the field too, uh, as a young man, which to me is more important than any stats, any record, any wins or losses. So that was pretty cool to see. I mean, it was really awesome to see your improvement, man. Appreciate your effort. I got some stats for Jake. Uh, he finished the season as our leading rusher, 98 carries, 528 yards. That's over five yards a carry, uh, which is a very good average for running back. He had two touchdowns running the football. Um, also helped us out in the pass game. We throw the running backs out there a lot on pass routes. He got 10 catches for us this year for 71 yards, so that was a big help. He was very valuable there. He also played sound defense at safety, uh, finished the season with 56 tackles. One and a half tackles for loss, three interceptions, four pass breakups, and a, a forced fumble and a fumble recovery. So on top of that, Jake's also our co-anchor on our morning show. Good Friday morning, everyone, and welcome to the AM. I am Jake Rising. And I'm Allie Hall. Thanks for spending your morning with us. Taking the lead this morning, Lambert's winning tradition. With an eight-year unbeaten streak of 32-0, JV competition cheer boasts a will to succeed that has measured one stunt at a time. Jake, I don't know if you got anything to tell everybody about season two, but Jake does a great job on the morning show too. I don't know what Jake's going to do after graduation, but I know this, he's going to be successful. So proud of you, Jake. Man.